Even though he's been around for a while, it still amazes me that Joker made it into Smash Brothers. I'd argue he's still the biggest surprise the series has ever gotten. Not to mention he arrived with some fantastic side content. There was so much care put into his inclusion, from his victory screen to his fellow Phantom Thieves, which makes his actual moveset all the more frustrating. It's not bad. A few too many reused animations for my taste, but at the end of the day, he's a solid character. I understand the goal here. He's supposed to represent and advertise Persona 5 as a whole. And while a bit surface level, it works. It's just not what I would have wanted from this character. Because I really like Joker individually. He's a far more, for lack of a better term, unhinged character. Some awful things happen to him and how he rises above those hardships is one of the biggest draws to him. Plus, there's a ton of crazy stuff that he does that would fit so well into Smash Brothers, but it isn't here. For example, where Joker's allies are stuck to using a single evolving persona to fight their enemies, Joker can use any of them. He is what Persona games refer to as a wild card. He can use any persona after he fights them and brings them to his side, be it Angel, Devil, or Phallic Chariot. That mechanic could have been the coolest move in Smash Brothers, and here's how it could work. Instead of Rebel's Guard tanking damage to fuel a basic meter mechanic, the move would absorb oncoming attacks into Joker's mask, causing the mask to glow blue. This would signify that the wild card ability is active, allowing Joker to call in a Persona doppelganger of his opponent that would use the very same move that he was just hit with. That could result in some amazing, hilariously stylish combos via destroying opponents with themselves as well as some insane double strategies, all while referencing Joker's, and by extension, every Persona protagonist's signature ability at the same time. I would enjoy that so much more. If this ability existed, it would be my favorite move in the entire series. It's also the exact same idea I put forward when I made the original version of this video, so why the heck am I remaking it now? Well, I've been doing a few collaborations with Designing 4 recently. The Dora video was linking to one of them, and since the other was a Persona video, I figured that's about the best reason I'm ever going to have to remake this. I actually edited that particular one. It's about how Akechi is portrayed in the Persona dancing spin-off games, which, if anyone is like me, are games that I had completely written off. But working on that video really opened my eyes to their qualities, and to dancing as a medium, really. So please check that video out, it's quite good and it was a ton of fun to make.